turn now to a young woman named Samantha Grady. She's a junior at that high school, and Samantha was hiding in a classroom, was actually grazed by bullets during that shooting. Samantha, good morning. It's good to see your face. Thank you for being with us. Anytime. Thank you for having me. Samantha, I, first I, I want to know how you're feeling. I know you did get some um, bullet wounds, and I know your best friend was shot right next to you. Yeah. Do you know how she's doing? Yeah. Have, have you been able to hear what happened to her? Yeah, unfortunately, um, she didn't make it. Oh. Mm. Samantha, we are so... Yeah. We're so sorry about that, Samantha. So sorry. Um, you were, are you okay, honey? I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we're sending love and prayers to you right now. Um, Thank you. Tell us, if you, if you can, um, what, it was, what, what it was like in that classroom during those moments. You, did you hear the gunfire first? What happened? Uh, well, so I was doing uh, an assignment for my Holocaust class, and we were, like, I was typing, and I took my phone out because I wanted to show my friend something, and then I heard two shots. My friend pushed me and said, Sam, and I ran to the left side of the classroom. Uh, that's where, like, there was a big bookshelf, and we all kind of huddled there together. We were all making, like, we all, like, we clamped, like, really close, tightly together. And then students in front of me, there was this cabinet. They pushed it in front of them so that it would deter some of the bullets. And um, the gunmen, after, like, there was two people in the hallway that I know, and I believe that they, they were shot. And after those two, after I heard those two gunshots, then we started running, and then he came for our classroom. So... He came after he shot and, those other two people. And Samantha, as I understood it, the door to your classroom was actually locked, but he shot through the glass. Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah, there, uh, the door was locked, thankfully. Um, but like uh, he shot quite a few uh, bullets fr into the glass, and it hit um, a few people behind me. And yeah. And we were, you know, sometimes you, you put anything in front of you that you can to try to protect yourself. And we were reading that your friend suggested you just get a book, hold up a book. Yeah. Did um, you my tell friend, me about she, that? She, yeah, she was, um, we were, we were, she was the one who pushed me. And we were running, like we were already situated in the... Um, by the bookshelf and she's like grab a book grab a book so I took a book it was a tiny book but I took a book and I held it up and I believe maybe then some the book kind of deterred some of the bullets uh, so it didn't hit me so badly but sh she was the one who gave me the idea yeah she definitely helped a lot Samantha I know you were able to get out of the school. You went over to where it was safer by the ambulance. And at some point, you were able to call your parents and see your parents. They must have been so happy to see you. What was that reunion like? Well, when I first left the school, they didn't know anything happened. So I hid behind a truck, and I called them. And I made sure I was kind of calm, because I didn't want them to go crazy. So um, after that, um, I, after a long story short, I went to the ambulance, and then while I was in the ambulance, they were they rushed down to the school, but they their phone died, so they borrowed someone else's phone, and then I told them, I'm in the ambulance and I'm on my way to North Broward, and I will like if tr try and come there, and then just ask for me. I'll tell them your names, and that's what happened. So they rushed there. Um, we I was in, already taken care of. I was already in the hospital bed. They, um, they walked in and my, my dad was really worried. Like it was etched all over his face and my mom, she was like bawling. Um, as you can imagine, it was pretty scary for both of them. Well, you are such a brave young woman. Um, the, I, just the fact that you were in that classroom, you had the presence of mind to call 911 and you're worried about your parents' feelings. I mean, that's what you're thinking about. Um, tell us what happened when you got home. Were you able to talk it out with your family? Did you feel like discussing it? Yeah. Well, we did have, I mean, a lot of people asked the 
I was, well, actually at the hospital, um, someone came in and they told me, talk about it as much as you can so it can get out of your brain and so you don't have like nightmares about it. So whenever the opportunity came, like whenever someone asked, I freely talked about it because I don't want nightmares. And so like my family, um, we talked about it at the hospital and then when we came back, we had discussions and I told them different little details that I didn't tell like other people. I told them specific details and they, like it was, it was an intense moment. My whole family, like it, they, we came together. It was, it was pretty, it, it was bad. <laughs> but the support was nice. Well, Samantha, you have been, you have been through too much, way too much for a young woman your age. But what bravery you showed, and our hearts are with you, and we're sending you our love. Thank you for being with us. Thank you.